Hello, welcome back to Martin Harmon Art TV. In today's video, I would like to talk about how to find your art style. Let's get to it. My name is Martin Harmon, and in this channel, you'll find videos ranging from educational art related topics, my views about the art world, uh, the making of my artworks, art movies, and much more. So you're welcome to stay for the curiosity. So when it comes to finding your art style, I think for me, it's a personal journey of self-discovery. When I was studying at school to university, there was always a focus on looking at other artists for inspiration. But in this video, I would like to suggest that there is more to this. And if you did not go to art school, you might have more freedom. <laughs> so the first thing I would do to find your art style is collect the information. So number one, your interests and experience. Dive into your experiences and memories that stand out in your life. Research, go to real places or collect images that can relate or depict this. Make notes. What is it about this that stands out to you? So for example, in my case, my interest is Stonehenge and stone circles and my experiences around this. And I visited Stonehenge and interviewed observers at Avery, Avebury Stone Circle in the UK. I'm just amazed at how much work this was. You know, when you think that they dug out the ditches and they built the mounds and then they moved these rocks um, from sometimes a couple miles away. So, you know, how did they move them and, sh and stand them upright? To get a better understanding of my interest. I also dived into the visuals around this. So for example, I was looking at the architecture, the construction, the geometrics. Also, I looked into my ideas and my experiences from this. Um, so I was looking at, so I was thinking about belief, life experience and the nature of reality. Number two is explore the art world. So after this, you can then go to art galleries, museums and art fairs to explore the art world and see what kind of art interests you. And then from here, you can think about, you know, what kind of style are you drawn to? Is it figurative, abstract, surreal, traditional or contemporary art? And then you can think about what kind of art mediums you're drawn to. Is it acrylic paint, oil paint, pencil, charcoal? Is it sculpture made from wood or metal or clay? Or is it a multimedia piece of art? And what I suggest is take pictures and make notes about why you like it. And then coming from my own experience, I went to museums and galleries and art fairs, and I also talked to artists. What I discovered is that I was drawn to abstract art and surreal art. Sometimes it was non-representational, other times it was half abstract, half representational. And then the medium I was drawn to in the beginning was clay because of its ability to be shaped into anything. So number three under collect the information, put this information in a place where you can see it every day. Once you have gathered this information, you can put this in a sketchbook or pin it onto your studio walls for reference. And once you have this information, you can start looking into how it relates to each other. For example, when I was studying my MA in ceramics, I put all my inspiration photographs on my studio wall, as well as notes. And that way I could just look at it every day. So every day I came into the studio, I would see my inspiration on the wall and it would just always remind me of my interests, of the ideas I had, the experiences and 
anything that related to that. So the next section in this video is start making. Number one, start experimenting. Once you have an idea of what your interests are, what kind of art style you are, you are drawn to and the material to work with, you can start experimenting and having fun. So I would just recommend, you know, just dive into your chosen material and explore your ideas, explore the form, explore the, the material's characteristic, and also, you know, create a schedule of what you would like to do in the studio in the coming weeks or months or into the future. So from my example, my inspiration is Stonehenge and Stone Circles in the UK, which led me to explore geometric forms in clay. And I used the potter's wheel to create geometric forms that I then cut up and joined together to create a geometric, to create geometric constructions. And from this, I was thinking about form, space, color, and my work was abstract to let the viewer see it in their own way, just like the viewer going to places like Stonehenge and Stone Circles are having to experience it and interpret it in their own way. And then number two, let the process guide you. Trust your intuition and imagination. Finding your style, I believe, is a journey and not something that can be found in a day. For me personally, I'm still learning, experimenting and constantly developing my style as my ideas and what inspires me constantly evolve. And then number three in start making, do you need help in learning a skill to create your art? Once you have started experimenting, you might think to yourself, perhaps I need help in improving my skill to create my art style. And from my own experience, I realized this because when I was lucky to study my MA in ceramics, during that time, I took up additional classes in learning how to throw on the potter's wheel from a professional potter. This helped me as I wanted to improve my throwing skills as this was a central process for creating my art. So I hope this video can help you find your art style. And I thought it'd just be interesting uh, to put my own experience in there because I think it's one thing saying that, oh yeah, you could try this, you can try that. But I thought, you know what? It'd be good to include my experience from the past because I've been there, I've done that, I've gone through that experience. And so I thought I'd also bring that into the video so that you guys can relate, hopefully relate to it and just see it as like one example that can relate to this video. So I hope that's been helpful as well. I think the best tip I have is just keep creating your art style and let this style evolve over time. Yeah, so that's a wrap for this video. Um, if you have any questions about this video, you're welcome to drop me a comment below and I'll do my best to answer. Yeah, so don't forget to like this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification to be notified about new videos um, that will come up in the future, so you don't miss those. Uh, you're welcome to check out my Patreon and I'll also leave a link in the description and you'll get access to merchandise uh, that'll be delivered to you depending on the membership. Uh, you get access to see some of these videos before I publish them and exclusive content um, and then behind the scenes from my studio. Oh, and greeting cards that I send to anywhere in the world and, um, and much more. So yeah, welcome to check out the the different membership, um, memberships? Yeah, so you're welcome to check out the different membership types on there. And if you've liked this video, I can totally recommend watching Stone Circles England inspired sculptures. And I'll put the video at the end of this video. So you're welcome to check that out as well. Thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you in the next video. Take care, bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.